that again. Ball, ball, ball. Well then guys, how are we all doing? Um, this is another part of the channel where I'm going to, as you can see in the description, it is going to be a hack shot tutorial and a possibly early doors review just to see what the juice tastes like. But yeah, here's a little backstory. Um, I quit smoking about six months ago and obviously used vaping to get me off the cigarettes. And then obviously you buy your mods, you buy your tanks, and your coils and whatever, but then you can't vape without e-liquid. So I was buying 10 mil size bottles of e-liquid around about a fiver from the shops. And then it got to the point where I was vaping more than a 10 mil bottle a day so it was, theoretically it was starting to cost me more to vape than it was to smoke and then obviously you, the more you go in with you learn from your mistakes things like that which they call premium juice which it is not it's just normal juice um but yeah i've come onto a company well i started jumping ahead i started making my own from concentrates things that are coming up with my own flavors and things like that and then i found a company called drip hacks online and this was a, oh, a while ago. Since then, I, I must have bought about 30, I've got about 30, 25, 30 different flavours off them. And there's only one I don't like out of them all. So I can't fault the company at all. The prices are ridiculously cheap as well. But yeah, um, what they do is they have the flavours, and every month they start, they release a new flavour a month called Flavour of the Month. And then obviously, like January's was January Flavour of the Month. Um, it got lots of reviews on the website, so with it being so successful that way, they released it on their juice line. They called it Coco Bongo, and this is outstanding. This has been my all day vape since it got released. It's, I think it's, I've nearly gone through a litre of it. Uh, but yeah, it is March, and there I've got the new one March flavour of the month. It has just been delivered about 20 minutes ago, and this flavour is classic mojito. So when I first seen this, I was like, oh. I don't know if I'm going to like that, so I'm not going to bother. But the, the reviews on it were absolutely raving, so I thought, right, I've got to get in amongst this and I'm going to get one. So it's just been delivered. I thought, what I'll do is, once it's been delivered, to mix it up, I will just, um, I'll video it and talk you through it. We'll do it that way. Um, but yeah, I have not opened this. As you can see, the bottle, it, when you get the bottle, you get your bottle with that child lock cap on it. And then they give you one of these, where you just, you just open it and then pour it out. And it's done you get that with every bottle so you open your bottle up oh yeah that does smell really nice but what i'm going to do then i'm going to go make a coffee and i'm going to jump down onto the table cam i'm going to try and do split screen so you can see front and then you can see the top and uh we'll go from there right then guys we are down on the table cam in front and up there as well right, this is going to be complicated but yeah, we have got our bottle here. So our ingredient, what we are going to need is, we have got a bottle of vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin just there. We are going to be using that. Uh, obviously I like my mix 70-30, which I'll get into the recipe in a minute. So we are going to need propylene glycol. Uh, this fidget one I bought from Loose Mill, but then I've been buying it from Drip Hacks, but I like the shape of this bottle. So I've just been filling it into this bottle here. Right, what else do we need? Right, nicotine. What we do, I have decanted my own nicotine shots, which I made there, which are my little wild. 20 milligram nicotine shots, 100% VG. So we have four of those, because I like mine three mil. But normally, if I don't, I'm doing that just for this, but usually I use, I'll see if I can, I use 72 milligram um, EP grade, full VG nicotine, which I normally use that. But the, with drip hacks, what you do is you get um, you can buy a kit where you get your, your concentrate, then you get enough VG, and then you get your nicotine shots and everything, and you, you get everything in one kit, and you normally get the nicotine shots in 10ml bottles like this. So for 3mg it requires 42ml, I think it is. Is it 42 or something like that? No, eight, not 20mg, sorry, they're 18mg. So it's 42ml I'm going to need, because I've, I have any calculator recipe on my phone but anyways it, I'm using my phone to film on this bit so it works out for when it's 70-30 it's 42ml of nick we need 133ml of VG 
with 25 mm PG and obviously there's 20 that's going off there's 20 percent concentrate in this bottle so that is how you work out anyway uh, you got to, I just got to play star typed in e-liquid calculator and I got it that way there's loads online as well you just just google it basically and uh, most of all I always use gloves because when we're using the 72 milligram nicotine you need to wear gloves if you get that if you get that on your skin you um you're gonna be a bit poorly <laughs> you're gonna be ill you're gonna feel down you're gonna feel like doggish so even though I'm not using it I still wear gloves anyway I just like to keep it into a good habit it's not necessarily oh and also you need which I've, I've lost you just need some kitchen roll just in case of any spills or anything like that so right this is gonna be try hard to, to do off two things so you get concentrate take your lid off like that oh and obviously I use syringes as well sorry I'm forgetting about the syringes um, right. So, right then guys we've got the gloves on we are ready to go we've got the bottle we've got all the ingredients so what we are requiring is 42 milligram of milligram milliliters we need 42 milliliters of nicotine which I've put in, in my own shots so I have four of those and we need 133 mil of VG we need 25 mil of PG so let's get what I'll do first I'll get the PG in there's the bottle there as you can see this is the PG what I will do is I'll go for the syringe one so what was that that was 25 mil this is a 30 mil syringe so what I'll do I'll pull it all the way to the top fill it up and then slowly release back in there so I have 25 mil which is just there so then what I'll do is I'll just squeeze that into there like so pop that away to the side and that kitchen roll give that a little mix in so that is the PG done with so you can sod off over to there right then what we do is I'm gonna put these nick shots in use an absolute nightmare Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video and then I'm going to open these because you'll just laugh at me trying to open them on camera because it is a ball leg, especially now I've got gloves on. Right, then we are back. I've took all the lids off, so what I am now going to do, now I'm just going to dump them in and it's VG and they've been in the fridge, so it's an absolute pain to get it all out. Just keep squeezing it like that. I haven't seen on that top camera, but I'll put the top camera in as a small one. still coming out that's one there's two one going in now that was all for them so they can be discarded up see what I mean with little spills a little spill there clean that up there this is smelling gorgeous I don't know see if I can focus this in if you look inside you can see it's all like um, it looks like all streaky inside that is actually the nicotine so when you've completed mixing this without everything in you want to be when you give it a good shake you want to give it a good vigorous shake and you all you want to see is bubbles you don't want to see any of the the length strikes all they want to be mixed in so you give it a good shake you'll you'll see it's all bubbled anyway so now all we need to do is just we top it up with a vg which is uh, 133 milliliters which is which takes just up to the neck of the bottle just there so i'm just going to grab that i'm going to pop that in come on next move move pretty dog They always have crazy dogs will just stay in the way all the time. So anyway, I'm going to pour this in. Let's keep 
pulling it up to about there and that is it let's put you over there out of the way this smells absolutely gorgeous I did not expect it to be anything like it smells now so I will do anyway I will put the lid back on that little there put the lid back onto this and what you do is give it a good shake Well then guys, I have just finished shaking this up, uh, it's had a good video with shake. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to go too close because the auto zoom doesn't work on this camera. I don't know if you can see how cloudy and bubbly that is. That is how you want it. What I'm going to do with this later on though, I've got some drip hacks colouring. I'm going to put a drop of uh, green and give it like a nice little green uh, tinge. Sorry, I keep looking at the screen because I look really dark on this one now. I think I've been playing around with the settings. But yeah, all you do... <coughs> Leave this lid on if you want when you pop the cover. I just take it off, put the other lid on you get with it, and that is on. So, all you do just unscrew that, and then you can pour your liquid in, screw that back on, it's all sealed. Stick that in the cupboard. So, but anyway, I want to smell it. Yeah, I'm getting like a it does smell like mojito, but I'm getting the mint, but then I'm also getting like a like a peppermint, like a slight peppermint with it. But yeah, it does smell like, you can smell rum in it, like the white rum. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this. So on my next video, what I might do is a re-wicking of uh, RDA. And then I might give it a quick cheeky drip and see what I think of it. So uh, but yeah, a um, bit of a boring tutorial. Like I say, I'm not, not very good at them. Well, <laughs> I will uh, probably get better in time. But it's just a little of an insight to uh, what I've ate. And the flavours, the flavours are outstanding. And they're, it's so easy to make. And you save an absolute fortune. But yeah, it's, um, it's all from Drip, drip Hacks. And uh, I, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll pop a link down below to this flavour. And obviously then you can go around on their website and look in their, um, the hack shots. They also do them pre-made. Where they're in like uh, the 60 ml bottles. Which is like this size bottle. Uh, you get them in there already done and they're already steeped as well. So just basically straight into your tank and you vape them and it gives you a, a way of um, tasting them before you buy 250 mils worth of them. This is a 250 mil shot. So what I tend to do is I'll get a little sticker, I'll pop a little sticker on saying 3 milligram. They do leave a little space for notes there but the ballpoint pens I, I use I tend to, they don't work on it unless you, you use a sharpie I suppose but I just use ballpoint pens. But uh, anyway yeah. Um, anyone's got any questions or if there's any other type of vape related products you want to see like say the mods the tanks everything i've got I've all sorts if you want to see any tutorials on wicking uh, how to build a coil um i just do standard coils or um what else what else can we do uh, battery safety how to wrap batteries what mods i use what tanks i use um yeah any other flavors if you want any flavor um reviews uh, just let me know and I'll um I'll put all my flavours out and you can pick and decide and then I'll do a review on each flavour and see what I think of them. But yeah, I do I do like all the ones I've got apart from one, which is a uh, key lime LMP it's called Lemon Rang Pie. It's it's nice but it's not in my taste anymore. I used to love lemon tart but and stuff like that, but it's just not not my in my um taste at all anymore. So but yeah, um if you haven't already subscribed, give us a subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you want to pop any comments down or any questions or anything you want to see down in the comments. And don't forget, I've still got plenty of gig logs coming your way. I've got three coming this weekend. I'm on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Friday is, is going to be a good one because the place I'm at is got a bit of a twist. It's well known to be a haunted place. And the first time I was in there, I crapped my pants. Not literally, but I got a, I got a fright. So... Uh, yeah, that is it. I'm going to wrap this video up, guys. So I will see you next time. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell to get your notifications, and I will see you next time in a bit. Have you ever heard of a wish sandwich? A wish sandwich is the kind of a sandwich where you have two slices of bread and you <laughs> wish you had some meatball. Ball, ball.